Hey y'all, welcome to another weekly What's for Dinner. Today is Sunday and on the menu today I am going to attempt to make homemade chicken pot pies. Um, I saw this easy recipe on um, one of the YouTube channels I follow in the kitchen with Mama Mel and it seemed to be real easy. So I'm going to attempt to make it. Um, I had this chicken breast in the freezer so I took it out and I needed some more um chicken breast so you know i got my seasoning my garlic pepper onion powder salt pepper i have an egg i may have to use another egg not sure i got milk in the background <laughs> in the background <laughs> and i got my all-purpose baking mix and i also got these three cans of uh cream of chicken soup so i'm still trying to decide i'm going to go ahead and put these on um because i really didn't have a menu for this week so i'm just kind of winging it trying to use up what's in my freezer before i do a big grocery shop on wednesday or thursday so yeah and i'm trying to decide if i want to shred this chicken or cube it i think i'm going to cube it um so yeah guys let's go ahead and get started all right y'all so what i'm going to do is go ahead and put the chicken in the pot and i'm going to probably use about three well i'm gonna use about four chicken breasts go ahead and put these four in let me trim off this fat well you know what i could probably still use the fat because i can use that for my chicken stock let's sit that there uh oh all right, let me wash my hands real quick. All right, and let me go ahead and use my seasoning, which y'all know is my salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I'm gonna let this go ahead and cook probably for about 40 30 to 45 minutes and then i will be back to check on it and be back with you guys all right y'all so what i'm going to do is go ahead and prepare the filling so as we saw earlier i'm going to use these here um mixed vegetables steamed mixed vegetables so i'm going to go ahead and pour both of these in They're still a little frozen, but that's fine. Um, let's go ahead. This is the uh, cream of chicken. And of course, y'all saw this in my Audi haul. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And I think I'm probably just going to use two pans. Yeah, I think two pans will do it. Go ahead and pour the other one in. So yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and mix all this up or mix this all together. Yeah, two pans will work. Yep, that works just perfect. And then this time, y'all, I am going to measure. So, I am going to use a tablespoon of garlic powder, onion powder, um, probably a half a tablespoon of, uh, these seasonings are also going to be in the chicken. I use a tablespoon, probably maybe about a half.
All right, so I'm just going to mix all of this together. And I'm going to just stick this in the refrigerator and wait on the chicken. And I'll be back and show you guys how I put it together. Alright y'all, so I have everything. The chicken is finished cooking, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it out. And I'm just going to cube it up. I will if it <laughs> if it doesn't break up before I get it out. But yeah, I'm trying to go ahead and cube it up. Some of it, you know what, some of it may be cute, some of it may be shredded. I, I don't, I'm not sure. We will just see how it goes. So. I'm going to use my little handy knife that I got from Amazon. So I'm just going to go ahead and cube this chicken up. And I'll be back, guys. I'm not going to bore you with me sitting here cubing up this chicken. So I'll be back. All right, y'all. So I have, this is what the mixture is looking like. So I'll put the chicken in and I need my spray. So, what I'm going to do, and I'm just using my little Rachel Ray little ramekins. So, what I'm going to do is spray. Uh -oh, I might be out of spray. It's spray each one. Hold on, guys. I got to get some more spray. Alright y'all, so I am back. So yeah, as I said, I'm just going to go ahead and spray the ramekin. Alright, and then I'm just going to take the mixture. And let me preheat my oven. I got to preheat it, preheat it to 400. all right so yeah i just take a little bit and basically that's what it looks like filled up i'm not going to fill it all the way up because don't forget i got to put the baking mix on it so yeah Let me go ahead and do these off camera, y'all, and I'll be back. All right, y'all. So I have the this the baking mix, and this is what I'm using. Just the Great Value All Purpose Baking Mix. And I'm going to put probably about a cup. I may have to have more. Well, let's just do about a cup and a half. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do a cup. Or a little over a cup, rather. Alright. I think it calls for three-fourths of a cup of milk. I'm going to use the rest of that. <laughs> Y'all already know I don't measure. And then I'm going to use one egg. And I'm just going to mix all of that together. Until it comes to a, you don't want it runny and you don't want it thick, thick, thick. So yeah, I'm just going to mix it. Depending on how much you put in, you may have to add some more, um, 
baking mix you can always add but you can never take away and you know the baking mix is going to fluff up okay that's probably I could probably use a little bit more milk but that's fine so I do have my baking pan here and I'm just going to I don't know if all of these are going to fit but let's see so we have a total of six they may fit and this is going into a 400 degree oven for I want to say about 45 minutes are they going to fit all right barely let's see let's move you over some all right barely so what we're going to do is start right here is we're just going to pour the bisquick over You know, I may just use another pan and put these two on there so that way they can spread out. That's what I'm going to do. Let me get another pan. I'll be right back, y'all. Alright. So, I am going to put both of these on this pan right here. So that way these four can spread out. Then I want to just make sure that... All my vegetables and stuff. I'm going to have to make some more. It's covered up. It might be enough, y'all. It might. And once again, like I said, this is going into a 400 degree oven, which my oven is still preheating. So yeah, you just want to make sure everything is covered. Okay, I had enough. I'll go back and cover what's not covered. All right, guys that's it so i will go ahead and put these in the oven and i will be, i need to clean up that little mess and i'll be, be back to show you what the final result looks like all right y'all so this is what the uh, pot pies are looking like fresh out of the oven as you can see some of them spilled over just a little bit but as you can see they're still bubbling right there and right there and it smells so good <laughs> right there so yeah I'll be back and show you what my plate looks like hey everybody welcome to another what's for dinner today is Monday and on the menu tonight, it is going to be something simple and easy. We all know how to make, which is spaghetti. So I have everything laid out in front of you. You already know my staples, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Um, I may add some Italian seasoning to the ground beef and turkey. And I love mixing my ground beef and turkey together. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this dinner started all right y'all let's go ahead and get this uh dinner started go ahead and turn on this pot i've already rinsed it out so yeah let's go ahead and get the ground beef in and it is what is it? I can't tell what it is. Um, I don't know if it's the twin. Oh, there it is. It is the um, what? Seventy-five percent lean, twenty-five percent um, 
fat, but I normally don't go by that, y'all. I go by, um, what's the cheapest? And I have my little handy dandy meat messer here. Y'all, I have had this meat out for, I don't know, ever since this morning. And it still isn't defrosted. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I should have set it in some water, but normally it's deep fried. I don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this here turkey in. And I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on since this is still kind of frozen, y'all. And um, let it come on and cook a little. And I'll be back. I'm going to wait to put the seasonings in. So, I will be back after this has cooked down a little bit, guys. Alright, y'all. So, the meat has cooked down a little bit. I just need for it to go ahead and uh, turn brown, not pink. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my seasoning in, which y'all know I really don't measure. So I'm going to say probably about a tablespoon. A tablespoon of um, garlic powder, a tablespoon of salt. I'm sorry, a tablespoon of onion powder, probably a half a teaspoon or half a tablespoon of pepper, and a half a, half a tablespoon of salt. So, yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and let this him finish cooking. Y'all, I wasn't paying attention and walked away and my little red little spatula fell on the stove and went to burning. Oh man. So I'm going to go ahead and finish letting this cook. Go ahead and break this up. And I'll go ahead and put the water on the stove for the spaghetti. And I'll be back, y'all. Alright, y'all. So the meat has browned. And I'm going to go ahead and put my um, spaghetti sauce in. The first one that I'm using is the traditional sauce right here. And I'm using two cans because my husband likes saucy, saucy spaghetti. Me, not so much. But him, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead put that one in. And the second one is the Parmesan and Romano sauce that I'll be using. Yeah, we're going to put a little bit of water in both to go ahead and get that last little bit of sauce out. And then I'm just going to turn this down on simmer and probably let this simmer for a good um, 30 to 45 minutes. Let's go ahead and stir this up. And yeah guys, I'll probably be back and um, show you my final plate. Hey y'all, welcome to another uh, nightly what's for dinner. On the menu today, I'm just making something simple i'm going to fry some pork chops mashed potatoes and sweet peas so let's go ahead and get this uh dinner started all right y'all so i have the grease on heating up for the um pork chops and i have the water on right here for the mashed potatoes I'm go ahead and put a little bit of salt in here
and I'm just gonna open up this can of sweet peas and just put it in a bowl in the microwave. These are the Idahoan mashed potatoes that I'll be using. So yeah, I'll be back when all of that heats up. I'm gonna go ahead and season this uh, pork chop with, you know, my regular salt, pepper, garlic powder, and um, onion powder. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it down a little bit and put the first two pieces of pork chop in. And I'm gonna go ahead and let those fry up and I'll be back. The water is getting ready to water for the mashed potatoes and I have the green the sweet peas in the oven. I'm gonna start in the microwave. So this is what my plate is looking like. I have my fried pork chop, my mashed potato, sweet peas, and I ended up making some biscuits. So hope you enjoyed this little quick, short <laughs> what's for dinner. I know you didn't want to see me fry chicken. Well, I'm talking about fried chicken, frying a pork chops that you know we do every day. So see you guys on the next one. Hey y'all, so welcome to another What's for Dinner. Today is Thursday and on the menu today I'm just going to open up this uh, Fusia Asian Inspiration Shrimp Fried Rice that I got from Aldi's. So the only thing I do is open this up, put the packet that comes inside here in the frying pan and mix the rice and vegetables up with it. And there's your meal. You have to cook this, I think it says, for 8 to 10 minutes. So within 15 minutes, your dinner is ready. And I will be back and show you what my plate looks like. Alright, y'all. Today is Friday, and this is what's for dinner. It's just going to be something simple. It's going to be just some corn dogs. I'm not feeling all that well. So yeah, something simple. Corn dogs. Um, I'll probably show you my plate at the end. Um, if not, I'll see you on the next What's for Dinner.